So the first race on Saturday at the Goodwood Revival 2017 to Chichester Cup race for Formula Junior Races. Brilliant start by the front row. Awful start from row two for the green. Osper and Pete Morton, and it was in grid order through the first quarter. Stuart Roach leading. Already we had spinners. That was 42. Jeremy Dealey and his little Cooper going for rotation, but the first three soon pulling away. And the battle for second was intense. Peter De La Roche in the 59 being attacked by the 0 0 Elva of Michael Hibbert. Take this for a, a move around the outside, making it work, but he didn't make it stick. De La Roche didn't know when to give up. Hibbert held on in second place for some while. Stuart Roach leading the race looking down in his mirrors to see where they were, and they were so busy fighting. Coming into St Mary's, take a look. Another attack up the inside this time from De La Roche, and it put Hibbert out wide, and then he rotated that elbow across the circuit. Managed to contain it all after a neat little spin. No one else involved. He eventually got it hooked back up, restarted in seventh. Then the battle for second place was heating up. Andrew Wilkinson for third place, I beg your pardon. And behind Pete Morton, Morton taking to the grass to try and uh, lose as little ground as possible. But De La Roche caught up with Roach leading the race and tried left, he tried right, he pulled alongside, even got his nose ahead at one point. The battle behind them though, Morton still fighting and his much, much taller Osper against the low line links of Andrew Wilkinson. De La Roche did not know when to give up. He kept on attacking, tried around the outside at Woodcut, not a place that normally works and Roach prevailed. He stayed in front, but the attacks kept on coming. An absolutely brilliant example of wonderful racing, these little Formula Juniors. You can put them almost anywhere, and it can even include going on the grass, going around uh, Crispy and Besley, race leader onto the grass, over the grass again, off the circuit, somehow managed to get it back together and rejoined, and still in the lead of the race. De La Roche tucked in behind, going to the chicane. Marek Reichmann from Aston Martin in the way, unfortunately, of that battle. Had to go somewhere, not his fault, super close, and they didn't know where to look in the pit lane. A few cars coming in for retirement. That's number 40 going to the side of the circuit. Chris Wilkes in the deep Sanderson, but the laps were counting down. And Roach somehow managed to eke a little bit more of an advantage. He was right on the ragged edge. The chequered flag was proffered, and he won by 1.2 seconds from Peter De La Roche. Absolutely outstanding action.